Hi, my name is Shane Davis. I'm a filmmaker. I'm doing an introduction to a short film here called Problems, A Moment of Purgatory. This is a tribute to my friend Ken Vale, who passed away on May 19th, 2024, this year. Just a few weeks ago, really. Died of kidney failure. A, uh, a boy's spirit at heart trapped in a man's body. I think my friend Andrew said he was a 13-year-old trapped in a 54-year-old man's body. He had a zest for life. He had, uh, like a lot of people, I mean, but he was a perpetual adolescent in a lot of ways, which was a great thing about him, but also a sort of, uh, you know, uh, not so great thing. So uh, this movie is kind of, kind of making in fun of Ken, but it's really meant as a tribute. And so I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it's called Problems, A Moment of Purgatory. Ken, I love you. I miss you. And uh, if you're out there somewhere in the great beyond, I hope you listen to some great fucking music. A million soldiers will fade away, and all I have is a dream. The dream will go on forever, whatever that may mean. Yes, Ken, your dream will go on forever. Forever. Forever and ever and ever. Sure is hot old. How long do I gotta wait here anyway? Can't believe my parents are getting divorced all these years. Yeah. Are you almost done in there or what? I don't know. I got problems. You have problems? Hey. I lost the whole empire. Germany got taken down. I was in the bunker and I had to come up with a permanent exit strategy. And I've been here ever since. But are your parents getting divorced? Your, your parents? Among other things. I got cell phone bills. I got all kinds of bills to pay. Your, your, your parents, did I hear you right? How old are you? Fifty-four. Fifty-four? You sound like a uh, little Jewish boy who didn't get a dreidel for his twelfth birthday and has the fear I should hate you, but uh, there's something about you that makes me feel antsy, so I'm just going to go. Uh, me and Goebbels have big plans, big plans to discuss. Big. Don't you want to hear about my parents' mm -hmm. divorce? Don't you want to know why I'm in the mess I'm in? Somebody's mail. Yeah, and they left the door open. Oh. 
snow. We don't steal fucking people's mail. <laughs> I do. Oh. There might be like an Amazon package in here. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, but what? It's so wrong. It's so wrong at so many different levels. <laughs> oh, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I don't all of think it. this is smart at all, but. Okay. Yeah. Let's get out of here before we get caught. Yeah. There's something so wrong. My favorite song by you is Come As You Are. That line about you not owing a gun. Anyways, I think about suicide all the time. My preferred method is suicide is head in the oven. Bullet and head will work for me. How about the head in the oven? Hm. Well, Ken, that's pretty lame. How did you know my name? A lot of people tell me about you, say you're a real efficient complainer. After being around you for a minute, I wish the gun would have stayed home. Oh. Well, I did think of another way. Perhaps putting my head in a bowl of bread batter would, would work too. Blame. Oh. Do you want to hear a song I wrote? It's called I Got Problems. Kurt? Kurt? Are you there? I heard really men don't cry. Oh well. Hey, didn't you try to get a record contract from Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys? Man, you know my music! I gotta be in the mood for it, but yeah, I heard some songs. You are kind of creepy, Charlie. <laughs> creepy? Last person called me that. Cut him up with an axe, and then danced around a large oak tree while tripping on acid. That's wacky. I try not to be creepy, but some say I am. You are creepy, woman. You are creepy. I am clearly a man. You must be high. I never smoked pot. I was too afraid to try. Man, that kind of shit will put you on a different plane. You'll see... Planets and shit. Health to skelter in your balls, man. Please don't. Listen, I never had a lot of friends. I spent a lot of time alone when I was younger. Music became my world. Then I had a girlfriend who died on me. I was left alone again, naturally. Then I went back to music, and then my parents got divorced. Two of my friends died from COVID-19. Well, then you're... You're bumming me out. I gotta go. Bye, bitch. Hey, uh, what's going on with you? Are you still upset about Ken? Been two days and I thought I might at least cheer up a little bit, but it just come, came as a shock. Well, uh, these things happen, you know. It's not like we didn't see it coming. There was just a way I could talk to him again. Just one talk more time. Talk to him. Hey, that gives me an idea. What if we use a, a Ouija board? What? Yeah, a Ouija board. Those things don't even work. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. There's only one way to find out, though. Where are you going to get one of those things at? The same way uh, evil people like me get anything. I'll go to a thrift store and steal one. Okay. Let's try, I guess. Yeah, fuck it. I'll go right now. You're still in your pajamas, though. So? Yes, dummy.
me. You fucking idiot. Well, hi to you too. Good to hear from you. I heard about all this negativity and complaining and I knew it was fucking you. Well, I always thought it was positive. Do you realize where you're at? Yeah, I'm waiting in the bathroom. Does this look like a work place bathroom, you fucking idiot? Yeah. Looks like the one at Aunt Lily's. Not only you'll show them brains, you have a short, meeny, meeny prick. Fuck you, bitch. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Fuck you. Ha, ha, ha. Go away. Leave me alone. Again. Naturally. Yeah, what, what is this, man? It would have been better with the Ouija board. You know, I, I tried looking at the thrift store. I even did the dumpster diving after hours. I, I couldn't find one. Well, let's just try to do the best we can. You need to take a deep breath and relax. We're going to try to contact Ken's spirit through the seance ritual. I know how to do these. I've done them a hundred times. Still wouldn't prefer to be for it. I need you to hold my hands tight, Andrew. Okay. Take a deep breath. Ken, if you're out there, if you're here, If you're here, Ken, say something. Say something to us. Make us, make some sort of um, symbol to let us know you're here. Ken, Ken, I need you to, I need you to try to let us know you're here. Any kind of way. You could try to blow out the candle. You could try any kind of movement in the room that'll show us that you're here. Oh, come on, man. I'm sick of this stuff. This is stupid. Why, why don't you let me try it? Okay. okay. Ken, if you're up there, you fucking idiot, get your ass down here now, you moron. I want to talk to you. I don't think that's how this works. Let me try. Ken, our beloved brother, an angel in white clothing. Reach out to us, let us know you're here. All right, I can't do this anymore. This what? is gay, what? this mean... is gay. I don't want any, any fucking part of this. I'm out of here. Ah. Ah. Come on, don't leave, Andrew. I know you're upset. Come on, man. I've had it with this. A bunch of gay ass baggy shit holding hands and stuff. I'm tired of this, these gay spirits. I'm gonna go summon up some real demons. Real evil people summon up real evil demons. Oh, and give me my book back on World War II. Yeah, now the Nazis were evil. <laughs> yeah. was right. No, I'm not. 
I have a position for you in the whining and complaining department. You'll be good at bringing negativity and misery to everyone's life. I always thought I was kind of positive myself. You won't be able to leave this room unless you agree to the fact you're fucking dead. If you're not going to take the job, at least do that. <laughs> Might as well be. Can't do anything else right. This guy's a fucking idiot. I wish I was home. I need to go home. Go home and... I want to go home. I got a lot to do at home. You're still here, dummy? What is this? Manifestations in the house. Legend. Interview with a ghost? What is this crap? Not gonna tell me nothing? I need real evil knowledge to summon up real demons. God! Hey, over here, I got a job for you. Chops telling evil. I had a song written for you and everything. It was called Oh Ken. Where have you been? Oh Ken, I can't see this through. Oh Ken, I hope you don't feel blue. Oh Ken. I don't even know the rest of the lyrics. I can't even write them. I tried to say on, so that didn't work. I'm hurting. But, as Todd Rundgren would say, I guess I believe I will see you someday, for only it's in my dream. Well, I don't know the exact words, but whatever. Well, I'm going to turn this light off and I'm going to cry 
and I'm gonna try to go on because that's all I can do. Goodbye, Ken. my water bill today too. Speaking of water, I am kind of thirsty. But then again, I have diarrhea too, so... Mm. You, Ken, are ready for the kitchen. You, Ken, are ready for the kitchen. The kitchen, dummy! me.